quick dev tip. So you probably knew that you could use snapping to snap to specific values, but did you know that you can customize the values that you can see here in this list? So for me, I want to add something in between 10 and 50. I want to add the value of 25. To do that, I need to change editor preferences. And just keep in mind that this will, this will affect your other projects as well. But to do it, we want to go edit, editor preferences. In this top bar up here, we're going to look for grid. And then if we roll down towards the bottom. So here we have the uh, location rotation and the scale grid sizes. So you can change them independently. What we could do is we could add another element to the, to the bottom here, but to keep things tidy, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go insert in between the 50 and the 10 to add the 25 value that we were talking about. Now there's no need to restart the editor. It'll work straight away. If we come to our list here, now you can see that we have the 25 and it's moving in increments of 25. Now, this is super useful for level designers who might have a very specific incremental size that they're working to for their modular kit.